All the thumbnails that you see right now on screen have racked up hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views in a very short amount of time. Now, they may have had really pricey thumbnail designers create, the, create these thumbnails for them, but I'm gonna show you a free AI tool that will actually do this for you with just a few words of a text prompt. In this video, I'll reveal how to create professional level thumbnails using a simple and free AI thumbnail generator so you can attract more clicks, stand out from your competitors, and potentially skyrocket your channel views. Now, this is a free AI tool that I'm gonna show you here in just a minute. It's not a freemium tool like most of them. This one is actually totally free to use as many times as you want, at least for right now. So you'll have to check it out. But real quick, before I show it to you, I just wanna say a few words about thumbnails. Here's the deal. Your YouTube thumbnail and title are the most important things about your video. The third thing is obviously delivering great content. All three are super important, but as far as YouTube is concerned, if people aren't clicking through to watch your video, then that video is gonna get replaced with one that people do wanna click on. So the thumbnail is ultra, ultra important for you to get views, okay? So a key to getting more views to your videos is having better thumbnail designs. Okay, and with all of that being said, let me show you the tool I've been talking about. It's actually Google AI Studio, and they've just come out with a new Flash 2.0 version that has image generation, and it's working super good. Okay, so let me move myself out of the way here, and let's go over here to aistudio.google.com. Okay, so that's what I've typed in here. Now, all you have to have is a Google account to get this to work, and it doesn't cost anything, okay? If you don't have a Google account or a Gmail address, then just go ahead and create one, and then go ahead and get yourself signed in to the AI Studio, okay? So I'm going to bounce over here to where I'm actually signed in, all right, and this is what Google AI Studio is gonna look like when you first land on the page. And what we wanna do is we wanna get ourselves into the new model, okay? Now, in the past, Google Gemini has been able to create images and stuff like that. Like ChatGPT, it really wasn't good at it and, or is not good at, super good at it, but the new Flash 2.0 Gemini that has come out with image generation, this just came out a couple of weeks ago, is a big improvement, okay? And so, not in every way, it's by no means Leonardo or Mid Journey or something like that, but it's getting there and it does certain things really well. So I've been playing with it and one of the things I discovered it could do really was help me create thumbnail designs based on other thumbnails. What you wanna do is go in here, you're gonna be on this main screen, okay? And yours will probably look like this. Most likely you'll be here on this Gemini 2.0 Flash version. If you're on a different one, then uh, maybe you've used this in the past or something like that. But from the studio area, just go over here to the right side, okay? Or if you're on your phone, just go to that part where you change the model that you're in on the app and you just want to change to the new Gemini flash with image generation okay so you got to be in that one in order to do images otherwise it won't work once you're there then the output format should already be set and it should say images and text if it doesn't if it just says text just hit that little drop down and change it to the one with images Okay, and you'll see here there's a token count and it looks like there's a limit there, 32,000, but really that resets every time you create a new prompt. Okay, so right now AI Studio and the full setup with this is totally free. So now once you've set those things, you'll see some example stuff here that you can do. You can create a birthday card, like I'll just hit that, right? And this is super fast too, so that's nice. Like if you're used to some of the image generation tools, some of them take a little while to, to create. So there's an example. What we're gonna do is look at some cool thumbnails, all right? Here are a couple I just snapshotted from YouTube that like this one was one month old with over half a million views. 
this one three weeks with over a hundred thousand both of these down here have well over a million but they're also a couple years old the videos are i just wanted to take these and then we'll try to create something similar using ai studio so what we know about these thumbnails is that they worked right so i i very much like it when i see videos that have gotten a lot of views in a shorter time frame from channels that aren't necessarily in the like tens of millions or hundreds of millions of subscribers right so these guys are both big channels like over 100,000 subscribers so they're generated an outsized number of views from uh, these videos and so that tells me these thumbnails are getting click throughs right delivering on the content is step two so you got to be good at that piece too um, or do your best at it all right so what i did i'm just going to show you that my first example here okay so um let me just click on this previously run thumbnail okay so i copied that image and I just pasted it in here and I said, please help me create a thumbnail similar to this one, the one I pasted. The text on my thumbnail should say ultimate emotion control. Now, one of the things that's super cool about this AI studio image generation is it actually, at least on the first try, will get the text right. If I told it to copy the text in the image, it might mess it up, but if I explicitly tell it what text to write, it will get it right so that's cool so look at that not a bad looking thumbnail right and i didn't have to like this would be pretty easy to create in canva but i would have to think about it so the fact that it created this for me is pretty pretty darn cool and i'm impressed with it now maybe i don't like the golden robe so maybe i can say something let's just see how this works in real time okay i like this so let's see if we can get it to change the color of the robe all right not bad right so that way we differentiate ourselves from this one just a little more, right? Okay, so that looks pretty good, don't you think? Now I'm gonna create a new prompt here. I like this one over here, this checking out one. So let's see if we can create something similar. So I'm gonna paste in a similar prompt here. All right, okay, and then let's take a screen grab of that thumbnail. And then I'm just gonna paste that in here. If you wanna upload images, you can just hit this little plus button and grab them. All right, so let's run that and see what it comes up with. Okay, find in peace with yourself. Interesting one. All right, now I will say that when I've been playing around with AI studio with these when I ask it to change the text in some way it often messes it up the second time just like you're probably used to with AI and text in images so keep that in mind but it usually gets it right on the first try which is amazing so I'm very happy to have that because it does save a ton of time in terms of choosing fonts and all that stuff and let's see let's ask it for a different font let's say we don't like that one this could mess it up okay all right it it did it okay so you can see though that's a pretty good looking thumbnail and that was a lot easier than even creating these in canva and i'm like really good in canva usually i can create stuff pretty quick all right so that looks good and so you can see the concept here we're just taking thumbnails that we know worked and then we can basically use that as the basis for creating something good for ourselves okay so let's try a more complicated one now I will say that unless you go into the settings here in AI studio and actually connect with your uh, Gmail account to save your prompts then uh, you may lose them every time so AI studio is unique compared to chat GPT and stuff in that out of the box when you first sign up and just start getting into it um, it will just forget every chat. I don't know how much they forget, but at least over here from your perspective, you can't get to the old thumb, the old chats until you sign in and connect this. So then it'll put them in your Google Drive for you. So you have a, a library of all the, the chats you've done. Keep that in mind. If you like a thumbnail you've gotten, download it. Okay, there we go. 1000 AD tours of Roman history. All right, so that one didn't work out. So let's go for a different prompt here. 
because sometimes since I'm just clearing, I think I'm clearing the history on these, but I may not be. Let's do this. Let's try and see if we can get something a little bit better here by just starting a new prompt. There we go, much better. Okay, so there's a little trick for you. Rather than just clearing the history, go ahead and start a new prompt. I don't totally love this one, but at least it got it right and it got the text right, or mostly right. So that is a better situation for us. Okay, so I'll wrap it up there. I think that you can see this is actually a pretty useful tool for being able to create different types of thumbnails rather easily, right? So that was pretty easy. And I think our best was one of the first ones we did there. This was a great one, super good result. I liked, I liked what we did there. We started with this and we ended up with this. You can see that maybe there's a theme here as far as the simplicity of the thumbnail that we upload is going to relate to how good quality Google AI Studio can create a similar video for or a similar thumbnail for us, right? So this last one that we did is rather complex, right? Like it's got like a paper background and some rather difficult to decipher images here. Like this is Europe but probably from the AI's standpoint, some of these things are a little harder to understand than what we saw. So keep that in mind. I think that the more complex the, the image that you're uploading, uh, maybe the harder time AI Studio will have with it. And that's where obviously a, a thumbnail designer could really help out, right? But Or doing something on your own in Canva and getting more into it. But for a simpler design, then you may be able to use AI Studio to crank something really nice out without hardly any effort at all. So hope that helps you out. I think this is a cool new use case. You probably can think of other ways you can use this, but I just thought thumbnails was a pretty good start for me on how to use this tool. So. If you like this, hey, I'd love to have you like this video, leave a comment, let me know what you thought and things that you would do differently or, or try with this technique. And if you're not already a subscriber, man, I'd love to have you on board. So hit the subscribe button as well and we will see you in the next video. Listen, there's a couple of videos popping up on screen right now and check those out and if you want to be able to connect with me one-on-one -on -one and some other like-minded people who are working with ai and doing all kinds of cool stuff then i've got a link to my free community down in uh, the description below so you can just click that all it takes is an email address and a name and puts you inside the community where yeah we're doing all sorts of stuff so join me in there and we'll see you in the next video